Hello, Kosovo friends. Usually you hear me talking about domestic politics, but today I want to speak about something far more important, the environment and how we are celebrating Earth Day on April 22nd. The theme for Earth Day this year is Trees for Earth. The goal is to plant 7.8 billion trees, one for every person on the planet, by the 50th anniversary of Earth Day in 2020. The U.S. Embassy in Pristina is joining the effort, and I hope you will do the same. As you may have heard, we've also installed an air quality monitor at our embassy that gives hourly readings. You can head over to the U.S. Embassy Pristina website and click on the Air Now badge to get the latest measurement of particulate pollution. You can also get advice on how to protect yourself and your family when pollution levels are high. Clicking on the circle over Kosovo on the map of the world will get you the most current reading. Follow the links on the webpage to find out more about what the numbers really mean. Finally, I want to talk about our new U.S. Embassy building. It may not look like much today, but over the next two years or so, it will gradually take shape and finally look something like this. We are all very excited about the prospect of moving into a modern office building designed to suit our needs. But today, I want to focus on the building's green features. When completed, it will be one of the most energy efficient buildings of its size in the entire region. It will be registered with the U.S. Green Building Council for leadership in energy and environmental design. This is called LEED certification. A heat pump will use the ground as a source of heat in the winter and a heat sink in the summer, reducing mechanical heating and cooling costs. Cool and vegetated roofs will reduce the heat gain into the building and the use of air conditioning. Daylight harvesting and full height windows will reduce our energy consumption based on the building orientation, while LED lighting will provide increased efficiency and reduced maintenance. Finally, the complex will achieve net zero water usage by balancing its water demands with the supply generated on site through efficient plumbing fixtures, capturing rainwater, efficient irrigation systems, and on-site treatment and recycling of water resources. Kosovo is our home too, at least for a while, so we are working to make every day Earth Day in Kosovo. I hope you will find a way to celebrate Earth Day too.